everybody, Joy here. This is the third take on this. <laughs> so however it turns out, this is the third one. If it's not the charm, then I'll try again tomorrow. All right, I had a lady ask me how I scanned my material and showed it on a drawing of the blouse I was going to make on my blog. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Find your material. This is a cute Betty Boop I bought years ago. I would press it if I was doing this for real, but since I'm just teaching you how, I'm not going to press it. You put it on your printer, then you go over there to your computer, or wherever your computer is, and you scan it into your computer, and save it, and remember where you saved it. I have a file under My Documents. Let me see, where is it? My Documents, My Pictures, Scans from Printer. And so that's where I put it, okay? So I've named this one Betty Boop, and I've already scanned it, so you don't have to watch me do that now. Pardon me while I move the camera, just a tad. I have never done this before, but I'm going to try to show you how you make a pattern out of material on your computer, and I hope you can see it. You can see me and Jerry in our camo jackets we got last year here. That was when he had hair. All righty, what we're going to do is we are going to go to Adobe Photoshop and we're going to go into the editor part of it. This is the editor part and I have just clicked on organizer. This is the organizer part. The organizer part is where you download your pictures, okay? And this scan is already in here so I don't need to download it so I'm going to go back to the editor part, okay? Remember when you open Photoshop you can click on organize or edit, click on edit. Alright, then we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Open, and we're going to go to Scans from Printer, and we're going to find the Betty Boop fabric, okay? Here it is right here. Okay, so there's my Betty Boop fabric. Now just because my fabric is here on my screen in my Photoshop edit doesn't mean I can make it a pattern in another picture, okay? I have to set it as a pattern, okay? So the way you do that is, number one, you turn it around so she's not riding her horse sideways. So we're going to rotate it 90 degrees to the right. All right. Now, here's a thing that's hard to explain, but you have to think about it, and you'll learn it the hard way if you don't think about it in advance. This little square of fabric is a certain size. Let's see what size it is. Image. Resize. Let's see what the image size is. The image is 11 inches wide by 8 high, okay, because it came off the printer, so it's 8 and a half by 11, all right? Now, the picture of the blouses. There's the front of the blouse and the back of the blouse. Now, I don't know what size they are, but if you're going to use this as a pattern to fill the little blouse with, you're going to have to make this much, much smaller, or when you fill the blouse up with the pattern, you're liable to get just this little doggy right here as the entire pattern of the material. Okay, so you need the pattern to be tiny so it will fill the little blouse up with more than just one dog or one horse. And I hope that's making sense. So what I'm going to do is Control A, and then I'm going to choose it, and then I'm going to make it much, much smaller. Small, 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 small. See how small I made it? Let's see how, and then, then I need to um, crop it. Because we don't want all that white in the background, do we? No. We don't want the white in the background, so we're going to crop it. So now we just have that little bitty picture. Let's see how big it is now. See, now it's less than two inches by two inches. So it's just little. So that means it will fill up much more of the blouse with the entire copy that I've made instead of just a little tiny piece of the middle of it. All right? Okay, now we want to turn that into a pattern. So we're going to come over here to Edit, and I hope the camera can see Edit. You come down here, and you'll see where it says Define Brush, Define Pattern. Okay? You could make this a paintbrush. And I might try that just for fun <clears throat> and see what happens. But right now, I know how this works, so we're going to call it Define Pattern, and we're going to turn it into a pattern, okay? So we're going to make it a pattern, and we're going to call it Betty, all right? So this pattern's called Betty. 
Okay, that's done. Let's get rid of it. So we now have in our pattern selection, in our Photoshop, a pattern called Betty. All right. So now we're going to go and we're going to open those blouses that I made the other day, which I also scanned. So they're here in the scans. And there they are. Here's the back of the blouse, the front of the blouse. And I got these line drawings off the pattern envelope. And if they're not on the pattern envelope, you can open it up inside on the instructions and they have uh, pattern drawings like that. Okay, the next thing we have to do is decide which part we want to fill up. Okay, so you come over here and you choose this magic wand right there. You come down, you've got the um, selection tool, you've got the magnifier tool, you've got the hand, you've got the dropper, you've got this other selection tool where you can choose part of it. Then you have the magnetic tool, then you have the magic wand. Choose the magic wand. Come up here to the top and make sure that you have the second box chosen. If you, don't, if you have the first box chosen, you can only choose one thing. If you have the third box chosen, you can choose something and then subtract, you can subtract something. Okay, like if I chose this and this and this, then I could unchoose it. Something like that. Anyway, I happen to know that the second one means you can choose more than one thing. Alright, so we're going to choose... I'll choose the yolks and the sides, okay? Alright, I've chosen all of that. Now I'm going to go again to edit. Now my choice is fill selection, okay? I'm not defining a pattern now, I'm filling the selection. And the selection is what I chose with the magic wand. Fill selection. Now I'm going to have to go and choose my pattern. Let me see. Uh, pattern right here. Now I'm going to click on all the different patterns I have to choose from. And I'm going to come choose the one called Betty. And I'm going to say OK. See there? Automatically, and then hit Escape, automatically filled up all those areas with that fabric. How fun is that? Let's go ahead and fill the rest of them with something else just so you get the idea. Edit. Oh wait, I didn't choose anything. If you don't choose anything, you're not going to get that, that choice to make. You've got to choose something first. So we're going to choose the sleeves and the rest of the bodice. And then we're going to go edit, fill selection. Now let's choose something else. Let's choose the pink for the rest of it. Okay, and there it is, simple as that. Isn't that wonderful? Now all we have left is the buttons. And I think I'll just take the brush, and you know how to make the uh, brush bigger or littler? You use the bracket keys, the square bracket keys. Make it bigger, bigger till it's about the size of the button, and let's make black buttons. Oop, that one didn't work, undo. Cover the button. How fun is that? Now we have one more place to fill. Let's get the selection tool. Let's choose the back. <coughs> Pardon me, that when I talk a lot, I start coughing. Edit. Fill selection. Let's just choose some wild, crazy thing. Let's choose. Let me see, what do I have? I haven't scanned that much in this computer. My other computer has lots of stuff. Let's choose this blue. Oh, let's choose the green. There's a lot of, no, this is Betty Boop. Let's choose the blue. There it is. Okay, but we don't like that, so let's change it. How do you change it? You simply choose it again, edit, fill selection, choose a pattern. Let's put Betty Boop in it. Okay. And now it's Betty Boop. Okay? So how fun is that? All right. I hope that answers your questions, friend who asked me to show you how to do it. And uh, I'll upload this, and you can see it today on my blog. Okay? And it's Joy signing out. And I guess you can see me now. Bye.